Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. I am your uh, klutzy and clumsy host, Anon Jr., and we are doing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. In the last episode, we finished up our storming of the cathedral. We re rescued the queen. Marley is back, and now we're getting ready to head back home and see what awaits us next. I'm just trying to figure out how to... There we go. That, that should be right in my... Yeah. Trying to rearrange all the items on my desk again. All right, let us uh, head into Truce Canyon and see if we can't find our way home. Well, that doesn't seem nice. I know I shouldn't pick a fight and all that, but uh, I need the XP. Well, I don't need the XP, and honestly, there is a. Um, there's a special little perk if you can get to the end of time before level 9. Which means fighting as little as possible, leveling up as little as possible. I mean, here I am level 8, so I've pretty much blown that option. But I was also planning on that because I wanted the boss fights to be as quick as possible while we were doing... Empty box. Already looted. Because it is very much a grind and some of the bosses between here and there are very tough uh, but the game is relatively inexpensive on Steam definitely pick it up and uh, try your luck on getting to the end of time before level 9 what is the end of time? we'll see dun 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 <laughs> alright let's try to finish off the small guy here he's being way too much of a nuisance Alright. Yay! Ethers and potions, oh my. No, oh, no, oh, empty box. Already looted box is already looted. And here we go. What is this? So how do we get home? Well, your highness, we... Please, call me Marley. Well then, Marley, observe. Whoa. Luki, you're amazing. I mean, the text said giggle, but that, that, that face said maniacal laugh. Sorry. I should be more humble in front of... Enough already. I'm a princess, but what's that mean? I can't do anything special. But you, you're incredible. I'd trade my name for your genius in a heartbeat. Aw. Well, if you say so. Anyway, I call these distortions gates. Some property in another couple of years will call them stargates. Oh wait, no, no, sorry, wrong franchise. They're basically portals to the same location in a different time. But gates are unstable, including the bill. Oh wait, no. Uh, that's why they appear and disappear all the time, so I use the principle behind my telepod device to create this gate key. It's what's locking the gate in place. Yada yada, techity tech. But why did this gate suddenly appear in the first place? Either the telepod had something to do with it, or something else made it. This is starting to sound complicated. Why don't we head back to our own time for now? Alright, coming, Chrono? Why wouldn't I? <laughs> Alright. Ooh, trippy travel! Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Ooh, we made it. Chrono, Luca, why don't you come back with me to the castle? It will give me a chance to thank you properly for everything. I'm really sorry for putting you through all this, Marley. What are you talking about? It was the most fun I've had in months, and I made new friends, too. <laughs> Chrono, be a gentleman and take her home. I still need to do a little more snooping into why that gate appeared. See you again soon, Luca. Well, Chrono, are you ready to escort me home? Uh-oh. Oh. Same gossip. Never mind. Not going to bother reading that out loud. We still need to do the tech points to get the uh, third, whatchamacallit, at Beckler's bit. But we'll have to do that one later when we get a little more time. Uh, let 
let me double check everybody's health is not all right so let's go ahead and head home for a free level up hello chrono yeah it's not you know weird at all to see your clone sitting there <laughs> all right don't mind us mother you know, at least we didn't have Luca. That would look really aw awkward. Yeah. There used to be a cathedral over there. Hmm. Alright, let's head through the forest and... This here? A strength capsule. Well. Now, I'll hang tight on the capsules for now. Uh, probably do that a little bit later. Yeah, sure. Let's get the XP. Come on. Regular Dax. Because these guys weren't nothing before we did our little misadventure. And that was about four or five levels ago. Nah, maybe not four or five. That was a few levels ago, though. Bam. Done. Almost not worth the XP, but 45 gold is 45 gold. I know, I know. You're going to ring the bell. Gone. Crit? No. Okay. Dead anyway. Done. I mean... XP is XP, so. Oh! <laughs> I forgot those weren't landscape features. <laughs> Oops. And the last man standing is about to go down. Bam! Done. There goes the killer shroom. Uh, and there should be a box of mystery over here. Got moved. Oh, whatever does that mean? Hmm. Oh, wait, no. That's Tuesdays when we play uh, Minecraft on the CoffeeCraft server. Alright. Guardia Castle. Here we come. Princess Nadia. Chancellor. Are you alright? Where on earth have you been? We'd heard you were adopted. We had soldiers combing the entire kingdom for you. This sounds familiar. Huh. You back there. You're the one, aren't you? Thought you'd kidnap the princess? No. Chrono only... Seize him. Seize the filthy terrorist. He deceived our princess and plotted to overthrow the crown. Aw. Uh, no. You mustn't. Come on. Bring them all on. I got this. We, we gonna do this with uh, three, six, eight, eight of them? Yeah, I could take on eight of you guys. <laughs> what are you fools doing? <laughs> but her highness the princess said. It doesn't matter what she said. Seize him. Oh, come on. I should be able to make a fright of it. I can take on eight of them. Ah, uh, here comes justice. Now, depending on <laughs> the, the more stringent system, you know, to protect the royal family. That we somehow accidentally encouraged. I, your chancellor, shall serve as prosecutor. Well, that doesn't seem right. I, Pierre, represent the defense. Members of the court. I will now bring forth the defendant Chrono, who is charged with the abduction of Princess Nadia. What shall be his fate? To burn at the stake, perhaps? To feel the tickler? Or hang upside down? Or shall we employ the guillotine? Seriously? We're getting into the uh, punishment already? 
The choice is yours, good jurors. Now let us begin. We shall first hear the testimony of the defense. Prono is charged with premeditated abduction of royalty. The question is, how could he be guilty of a crime that never occurred? The prosecution would have you believe that the defendant kidnapped the princess. However, the truth is quite to the contrary. Not only was their meeting a coincidence, but it was the princess herself who asked Chrono if she could join him. Is this true? Who is responsible for initiating contact? Mm. Are you so certain? Our witness says that you were the one who bumped into the princess. Oh yeah, that's right. That was going to be used against me no matter what. Even though she clearly bumped into me. <laughs> Having subdued the princess, the defendant then coerced her into visiting Luca's little sideshow. There were countless witnesses to this. Shortly thereafter, both the princess and the defendant vanished. If that is not criminal abduction, I don't know what is. Chancellor, several other acts have also been brought to my attention that call the defendant's character into question. Objection? This cannot possibly have any relevance to the case. Care to respond, Chancellor? Rona's character is at the very core of this case, Your Honor. This evidence will show that his testimony cannot be trusted. Very well, we have nothing to hide. I would like to call a witness who can vouch for the defendant's good character. Now... Here is where everything you did at the fair comes back to haunt you in the worst possible way. Like, if you ate the old man's lunch, the chancellor is going to call him up as, as an accusation. Like, he's such a mean, nasty man. He ate my lunch. If you didn't help the kid find the cat, she would come in and call you a mean person, all sorts of mean names. And, uh, interestingly enough, if you never talked to her, she still wouldn't be a witness for you. And there's a few other aspects of that, too. So everything you've been doing in the fair, everything you've done in the fairgrounds is leading up to this scene right here. And even though the end end is the same, the way it plays out is very different depending on what you do and don't do. So uh, if you feel like it, use one of your save slots to save back there, run through it, and, and try it a couple times to see uh, see what differences you get. I found out the hard way. Oh, there he is. That man brought me my kitty back. Thank you, mister. How about that? The man before you is a fine, upstanding youth. He deserves to be honored, not put on trial. <laughs> Looks like they're buying it. The real issue here is motive. Was there any motive for this good youth to kidnap Princess Nadia? No, there was none. Pardon me, but I believe the motive was quite clear. Greed. Her fortune did tempt you, did it not? Nope. Are you sure you weren't in the least bit tempted? Nope. Very well. No more questions, Your Honor. I believe it has made quite evident that my client is a fine and virtuous young man. The defense rests, Your Honor. Members of the jury, it's time for a verdict. If you believe the defendant guilty, stand to the left, innocent to the right. Not guilty. Okay. I love how old man number one, old man number two, not guilty. Same sprite. <laughs> Funny how all these jurors look alert. Not guilty. Almost like they had limited graphic space to work with. Not guilty. There's always one Yahoo that votes guilty. Are you him? Guilty. Yep, there's always one. I think he's in the Chancellor's pay. Order in the court. A verdict has been reached. The defendant has been found not guilty. 
but he, even if he did not kidnap the princess, the fact remains that he aided in her flight from the castle. I sentenced the accused to three days of solitary confinement as punishment. Take him away. I guess I'm getting three days in the hole. <laughs> Stop. Princess Nadia. That's quite enough, young lady. But father, all I asked was for you to remain at the castle and behave like a princess. What's done is done. Even royalty must obey the laws of the land. Leave the rest up to the chancellor and forget about your little escape escapade in town. We are through here. And I'm getting dragged off for my three days in the hole. I mean, it's not as lyrical as 30 days in the hole, but you know. Uh oh. Book him, Dono. This man is a seditionist who meant to overthrow. Wait, wait, what? I wasn't charged with sedition. Aiding and betting. He has been found guilty by trial. I trust him to your care. Wait. No. No, 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 no. And this is the part where no matter whether you get the guilty or not guilty verdict, this Yahoo right here is going to come down and tell these people that you're guilty of sedition and lock them up. So this is the monster who abducted the princess. His execution is three days hence. See that he's still here to attend it. Execution? I don't recall hearing anything about that. No cause for concern. There's only been a small delay in the paperwork. Or do you mean to question me? Never, sir. Guards. Take the prisoner away. Okay. Like, seriously? And then I wake up in here. Well, at least I'm not actually, you know, shackled to the leg iron. Hit point and magic point restored. What's in the bag? A sympathizer from your trial brought that for you. Enjoy it while you can. Obtain three ethers. Ooh, nice. Days remaining until execution. Two. Okay. No, I still got my sword and everything. Well, at least there's that. Let me go ahead and save. Alright, now... Hmm. Alright. I know this episode is going to be a little bit shorter than the other ones, but because I know, uh, actually, you know what, Let, let's go, Let, let's go ahead and finish this part. I know the next part is going to take a little bit, we should be able to finish it in 10 minutes. Pipe down. Bang on, <laughs> pipe down. It's like Jabba banging on the uh, rail with his food dish. Oh, how many times do I have to tell you that filthy? If you won't quiet down, I'll quiet him down. Open the door. Yes, open the door. <laughs> That's what you get for not doing what you're told? Mm-mm. Whack. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? I think I'm going wherever I please. Bam. <laughs> and your potion too. Oh, where'd the other body go? I should have gotten some loot out of that or something, right? Oh, all right. Guess I can't get in through there. Um, That's not ominous at all. Oh. Because there's something there. Oh, all right. I probably need to hit him while the shield's out. 
Yep. There we go. That works. 22 XP, 90 gold, potion. Oh, that's right. Um, I don't have my map of the castle. All right. Let's try exploring the cells. What do we got here? Well, that can't be good. good. That wasn't what I came here for, but, uh, okay. The bones and bones and dry bones. Alright, I'll take the XP and the money. Especially since I'm going to be living on the lamb. And, nope, can't get in there either. All right, so there are things to get on that side. All right, shall we do this side next? Nope, not next. What about this side? Ooh. Um. Well, that says to G. Okay, now I want to do the bottom one first. And... I... What do you think you're doing? Robbing the place. What do you think you're doing? Stopping me? Bam. Probably should use some of these potions to get my health back up too. But it's not that low just yet. I wanted to come here and get another ether. And a mid potion. And a high colonic. Oh, wait, no. Another mid potion. <laughs> and another ether. Alright. Now that I have looted that room, I can go... Oh. I'm going to go fight a uh, big dude here. Okay, so you're the one who's gone slipped his cell, huh? Yep. Oh, that didn't take him down in one shot, huh? No, no, no. Don't get closer. It's okay. Oh. They don't pay me enough for this. <laughs> you whack him a few times and he goes, oh man, they don't pay me enough for this and he runs off. All right, as long as you get the XP and the money for it, right? <laughs> oh. All right, so let's see. Can we finish our prison break in the next couple minutes? There he is. Hmm. Gotcha. And do I have enough time to get you before you... Well, not before you hit me, but... uh, There we go. Alright, they keep giving me these potions. And while my health isn't necessarily low, it's not high either. Well, let's go ahead and use a potion and knock that back up to full health before we go too much further. All right, come on. <laughs> Without a fight. He's unconscious. But I took his potion. There's probably something I want over there. And he's going to turn right, and then center, and right. Come 
gonna turn a different way. Knock him out. Bam. He's unconscious. And his potion too. <laughs> Help me, please. Free him from the guillotine. Sure. Might regret that later, but we'll see. Thank you. That was close. I'm Fritz. My father runs the market in Truce. Stop by if you're in the area. Oh, never mind. That might come in handy. Obtained a mid potion. And bronze armor. Why do I get the feeling that I've already got, or it's about as good as it's going to get? Oh, I probably should use a tech on these guys. Oh well. I keep getting potions off of the off of the bodies, so I guess it's alright if I take a couple of hits. Although I would have rather have done it quicker. Twenty four XP, hundred and eighty gold. No, I can't take the whip off the wall. Okay. Now let's see if we can get this last dude with as little hassle as we've had. Can you can you not see me standing here? Like that seems like asking for trouble. Waiting. Oh. Oh, I got it anyway. Good. <laughs> He's unconscious. And got a potion. And cross the drawbridge we run. Oh, more of these guys. Alright, what are you guys gonna turn your shield first? There we go. Bam. Gone. Alright, sorry, trying to find my way from on the map. Uh to L. Alright, so, checking my handy guide, M will take me to N, alright, that gets me there, yeah, alright, so let's do that, let's do the bottom left and then the top left and then we'll do the top right. I'm pretty sure that if I'm reading this right, we want to get all these open. And we're going to want that anyway. Give me shelter. You can even sing the Rolling Stones if you want to. Oh. Uh, I was expecting a person there. For shame. All right, so we got that one done. And this cell gives us nothing. But this one is open, which lets us come here. And we can go down. And now we can go in here and get a shelter. Scoot down in here. Get these two guys. 1500, or yeah, 1500 gold. And a silver sword. Ooh. Silver sword, you say? Yes, please. Let's climb up out of here. 
Kind of wish it would let me use that save point, though. That would have been nice. Alright. No, nothing higher. Okay. Alright, so that's bottom left, top left. Those guys are back. Alright, and we're running out of time for this episode, too. These all keep running so much longer, but I keep getting lost in the game. <laughs> That's the problem. Alright, so we got that guy attacked. We, no, we should have waited until he revealed his shield, but I don't think he was going to oblige us by waiting too long. There we go. Bam! Alright, we came up that bottom right, so now it's time for to go up the top right, right? What do you mean, no? Did I do this wrong? No, that should be it. There we go. There he is. Guys, you could have stepped away. Could have let me hit you. Just stood still enough. I'd have made it quick. Oh, well. All right, now... Using my powers of foresight and knowing what's about to happen. We'll do this. And then we'll stop after the next... Uh, somebody help! Hey! It's Luca! Chrono, I came to rescue you. Oh, looks like you didn't need my help after all. Oh, well. Well, we better not stick around too long. Let's go. And we've got our little save point there. <laughs> Classified document has been left lying on the floor. Read it? Uh, yes. Dragon tank design specifications. Attention, Warden of the Guardia Castle Prisons. The head of the tank is equipped with the capacity to repair damage to the body. An ingenious marvel of engineering. Hint. Destroy the head first. The head has also been enhanced with a shield to prevent damage by lightning and fire, leaving it vulnerable only to attacks with weapons such as swords and pistols. Don't use your magic or your uh, techs. Gotcha. In short, your tank should be effectively invincible, provided no crazed lunatics gets the bright idea to run up and hack away at it with a sword. Huh. I wonder what dashing lunatic would try something like that. Oh, and she's bumped up to level 8. We could both use... i got four shelters left. Let's go ahead and use one right now. Top everybody off. Save. Alright, yep. And uh, while we're in the midst of our great escape, before the big boss battle, which I know is going to push this way longer than I wanted to go, I'm going to go to the credits and say thank you for watching along... If you're on YouTube, this is the end of episode 9. <laughs> yes, this is the end of episode 9 if you're watching on YouTube. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. I will see you tomorrow. Subscribe to get notified when new stuff goes live. If you want to see these as they're being recorded, I do it Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern on Twitch and Mixer. Links are down in the description below. If you're watching live, hang tight because I got three more episodes to cram in here somehow. And to trim them just a, and to get them done a little bit quicker than I have been, I, I get a little tied up in the game, so uh, that it makes it kind of hard. So, live folks, hang tight for just a little bit more. And those of you on YouTube, I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>